And now we've got these uh, wonderful little uh, little factories set up down here that are a little bit more, uh, you know. Actually, let's start again. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Anger Cast and Satisfactory. How y'all doing? Uh, I'm doing just fine. Uh, we are overlooking the original uh, smart plating setup that we had for phase two of the space elevator. We had uh, all the stuff behind me making um, enough to do smart plating, and then we were pushing it into the space elevator for phase two. Currently, we have two more things to do for phase two, which is automatic wiring and versatile framework. Got that kind of like going down in the and in, 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 in at the hub. Um, <laughs> I'm just at the point now where I don't want to set these up to be full blown factories because we still haven't figured out all of the power issues just yet. And if I add that into the mix, it's going to make things ten times worse because we are we were having some power issues. We're getting better, but we haven't figured them out yet. Um, right now, though, we're going to uh, show you some. Like I said, we, we we spent last time doing all of the iron, copper and um, limestone stuff, and I think we did, uh, was it reinforced plating, reinforced iron plates, and something else down over the hill that we, we got going on there, which is fine. But up here we needed to take care of the mess, and I don't know if you remember what it looked like. If I can, if I can throw an edit in, in that, um, what that looked like, I'll sh uh, I will do that. Otherwise, we will continue on to showing you what we've done. And this is what we've done. We've got a nice little uh, iron reinforced iron plating factory up here. So down there must be uh, something else. It's something else. I forget what it is, but um, we've got this up here. This reinforced iron pl oh, for flipping. Heck, what's going on here? We've got this nice little reinforced iron plating factory here, based off of some. Total Eclipse again, uh, but it's also changed a little bit because I do have that alternate, that cast screw recipe in the mix, so I don't need to have extra, um, I don't need to have extra constructors just to do this rods to screws. I can go right to screws, and therefore we've got screws and plates going in from here and left and right, and to make them and we should be in better shape. Now, I've got to uh, get the power figured out up here, which you can see we are starting to truck in power from over uh, the coal generators. I've also set up another one. There's a beacon somewhere. I don't know if you can see it from here. Um, it's that little green one here. That's, it's behind that rock. It's, it's behind that big, huge thing. But there is... That's... Uh, I found a Keterium. You know that that other stuff. <laughs> I found a nice pure node of that stuff, and I set up a, a miner to just collect it and put it into two different storage containers, so that I can have that for other things. We'll you know we'll get to that eventually. But um, there's also around that area there is more um, right here. Uh, there's there's our original coal coal production right here, and because you can see there like that little spider thing of that. But over here, up on this ridge, where these two pools are, uh, there are more coal production plants going on. I have them working, and I trucked the power lines. I, did, I was going to truck the coal down to here and run it, but I didn't decide to do that. I decided to just take the power lines themselves and run it over here. And there's three pure coal nodes up there. Right now, I'm trucking in about, I think, 600 uh, megawatts. So that's going to be feeding a lot of this stuff once we figure out where we can use it. Because there's a lot here. And also, we've got this mess over here. And let's go take a look at that. We Wow, that actually worked. And then I hurt myself doing that. Okay. Okay, from up here, you can see we've got a rotor factory and we've got a modular frame factory going on. Let's look at the rotor factory first. Uh, we've got a pure no iron node that's being come out that's coming out of this uh, uh, yeah, we got a Mark One Meyer coming out of this pure node here. It's being split into four smelters, which are then being split into two, four, six, eight constructors. Now again, because I have the alternate 
uh, recipe for cast screws, I am not having to put in an additional line of, of constructors. So that's why this one's going to be a little bit different than what I've been doing as far as um, using Total Eclipse's uh, uh, videos, which are awesome, by the way. Again, I, I highly suggest going to check them out. But you can see we've got two, uh, we've got four um, assemblers here taking the rods and the screws to be to making uh, the, um, excuse me, I had lunch, <laughs> making the rotors and then stucking them in those two things over there. Now, we've got that happening here, and then we've got this one over here, which we'll give you a better look at uh, again. Uh, but there's another Mark I miner sitting on a pure node of iron, and it's passing it into two separate lines, which this is where it gets kind of janky because I tried to use his uh, guide on making the modular frames, uh, but it also used the regular recipe for iron uh, for screws, which involved another line of uh, constructors in front of that top row of constructors there, you know, to, to split up and do and, um, screws and then, you know, from the rods and then have a separate um, manifold, he says he calls them, or, you know, conveyor belt uh, up above and below, dropping into the um, assemblers to make the next piece of it, which was, let's see, uh, screws and iron, the uh, reinforced iron plating, and then we have the iron plating coming over here, or I'm sorry, all the rods coming over here, and then that makes the uh, uh, modular frames. But, he, like I said, it, because he has it coming out of, um, he had it coming out from the other side and having a splitter up in the top corner where that bend is at, and then running down here and running over here, I tried to do it as best I could to make sure we were being efficient with the um, delivery of all the iron, the raw iron uh, ore, and then running into these uh, constructors which are making plates, all those are making plates, and then feeding that into the manifold line above the assemblers, dropping them in for that side, and then we've got screws here that are being dropped in to make the reinforced iron plating so on the other side of the assembler and then those are going into these assemblers down here now there should have been five in a row but there's a big old rock in my way so I had to shift it around so now we've got rods coming from the first three I'm sorry the first constructor is adding to the amount of um, iron plates that are being created because we had a, a deficiency in iron plates so now we've got one constructor making iron plates coming into there and then we've got the next two uh, constructors making uh, iron rods which are feeding over here and dropping into the top line of these uh, assembler manifolds and then we've got the rest of them making screws that are going in to match up with the iron plating to make the assemblers and then or, uh, to make the reinforced iron plating from those assemblers and then being fed through the bottom manifold line to drop into the um, blah, 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 the assemblers so that we can make all of the modular frames which are then being trucked back to this storage container. I know that's really does not make a lot of sense. Again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and try to tell you every single spot and how to do it. Maybe somewhere down the road I can, but I just can't do it now. We're still just getting up and running. Um, so people do it much better than I do, so I will <laughs> I will you know let them have uh, the kudos. I'll just you know employ their tactics. But you can see we've this thing here, this entire thing here takes about six to seven. Ooh, this would be fun. Oh! <laughs> Ow. We're in photo mode, by the way. That's why this looks the way it does. Arr. My goodness, photo mode is, is craziness. So let's get up here and look at this sucker. This is um, a top view of, of this line. And you see, it's got... We've got, let's see here, one, two, like three or four over here. And then there's another two over there. There's like five, four or five. I forget what the actual draw on it. And we can we can go down there and look at the uh, power, but the power lines and see. But um, that's it's going to be a lot, and we have to figure out what we're going to need as far as power for uh, tr you know trucking in that other. Hello, my goodness. So we've got like I said, we got 1,500 and. Uh, eh, debatable because this one line is not that great because I have two regular nodes and I've split them instead of using two lines for for four um, uh, splitting two lines into four generators I've got two lines into eight generators which is probably not the best thing in the world to be doing um, it is 
producing around the capacity of 1575, eight, six, 17, almost 1800 uh, watts, megawatts. But we're only so far using 564 from what I've trucked back in. So let's take, let's get rid of all this shit here. We don't need this now. I will set this back up if I need it. Yeah, get get rid of this. This is this is not needed. Um, let's let's run that line. Okay, that's the line that's coming in. Let's run this line to this one here. That will turn on all of that over there, and then we've got the rest of this line running over here. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. We don't need them. I've got plenty of space in my inventory for this shit right now. All right. Let's get rid of that. Rid of that. Like I said, we had a bunch of them down here, and that's where we were running into power problems because I just was running out of, um, I was running out of biofuel a lot. It was not going well. Okay, this I need to keep that one there, keep that one there, keep that one there, keep that one there. We can kank this one off into here, I believe, and that I think will set everything back up. Let's go make sure we got everything up and running where we want it. And uh, it didn't work. Jump fail. Da -da 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 okay, it looks like everything is running. Alright, so you can see we've got all the ore running up this way. Runs into the belts and then it splits off. Um, into this one goes into all of these. And then it splits and can, runs, you know, all the way over here. Sp continues into those ones. Splits over here. Runs over that way. We've got all the plates, rods, and screws coming through. Going into this mess of, of spaghetti that makes the reinforced iron platings. And then the reinforced iron platings come along uh, here. Run the bottom to the assemblers that make the modular frames and because I ran out of all the power but look how fast everything runs it's craziness I told you we've got an entire setup of screws down there that are just wasting power because we don't we don't have enough um, we don't have enough use for screws so I have another line split off and running into the uh, the sink which we're going to talk about a little bit here okay let's get back over here let's set this puppy up we've got the line powered up here Let's see how much have we taxed onto it by now. Let's see here. We've added those two lines, those two production facilities into place. Out of the 1500, uh, 1700, almost 800, we're now up to max consumption is up to 882. We're only, we're still, le we're still a little over half of what it needs to be, of what it, sh you know, it, it requires. Uh, I'm sorry, we're a little over half of what I can, uh, you know, of what I'm producing, but. Let's uh, let's make it worse, shall we? All right, let's get rid of this. Now this stuff here, that's not even connected to anything, so it doesn't really even matter. Um, it's these lines here. So these two. All right, those are. Okay, let's take that one, run it up to there. All right. Do I have a... I don't have a thing up there, so we can... Yeah, let's hit it over there. Alright, let's get up there and look and ha see, have a fun... The fun look at this shit. This is our... What is this? Our rotors? It's our rotor... No, the rotor factory is over there. This... What is this? This is... This is simply just reinforced iron plating. Oh my god, I'm just making reinforced iron plating with this entire setup. <laughs> Alright, let's... I will come back and clean up all this because we don't need it anymore. Um, we'll do something else with these. Uh, you know, we're clearing up some of the landscape so that we can get rid of all the crap that we had and sort of make things a little bit better. The uh, space elevator itself is still sitting here. We've got another input on. I think on the other side we'll run up stuff. I may just I may just truck it up because it's only 500 and 100. I may just truck it up myself and drop it in and be done with it. We like I said, I've got these three assemblers down here doing all the work for me. And it's using the power as well. And what's our power at now? We're up to almost a thousand. We're we're gonna be running out of power soon. 
soon. So we got staters being made here. I'm done with the stator production, so they're just sitting there doing nothing right now. Automatic wiring. I've pretty much done all the automatic wiring production. I'm done with that for, for what I need for the phase two. And right here is still working on uh, steel beams and modular frames to make versatile framework because we need 1,500 of them. When we need 500 of them, we have probably... Let's say we, we've got, we've got uh, 50, 100, 150, 200. We've got 200. So let's feed the beast a little bit more, get it done, and we can start talking about other things right now. All right. Feed the beast. Boom. There you go. Have some more of that. Make some more feeling. So what the hell are we making down here? We've got this thing making just... What was it? Plates? Plates, rods, and screws. And it's already run. It's, this is just making rods, isn't it? Yeah, it's just making rods and it's done. It's tapped out. We'll have to add some more stuff or run it somewhere else. This is just making plates and it's tapped out. Well, that's freaking wonderful. Here's all of our... Um, this is just making screws. <laughs> we were stupid. We just made screws and it's now tapped out because it's got nothing else. So right now... What I might do, this is the fun part, because this is absolutely pointless, and I love it. So we've got three containers full of screws, and there's what? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got 24 spaces times 500. There's 12. Is that 12,000? Is that right? Screws? Yeah, 12,000 screws here. And then whatever is left is going here into this, the, the, the sink. Which right now is up to nine coupons. Now the only problem with this is this is kind of this is not right. This is not great because it takes exponentially more items to get, or more points, I should say. It takes exponentially more points to get the next coupon after you, you know, receive one. So now it's like six hundred and some whatever to get to the nine, you know, to get nine printable coupons. Then after that, it's going to be like I'm going to need more points, which means I'm going to need more things. So eventually, it's going to become so that this is not even going to do anything. So I don't really know that this is probably going to be the way I'm going to keep it. I just figured screws are such a disposable commodity right now while I'm doing everything else and not ready to use anything here. This would just be a fun little, you know, use of, of overflow. It's the stack overflow, uh, as it were. So yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going we're gonna fid to fiddle around with all that stuff. All right, let's get back to what we were doing because we still have the uh, we okay we've under overlock or unlocked overlocked unlocked overclocking which you can take that off the board we reorg the iron the copper the concrete lines we got the motor modular rotor modular frames and reinforced lines all done we are now phase two ready to complete let's go do that and because that is the next the last thing we need to do which is over here we need a hundred and two hundred and five hundred so whoop, that's not even the right one oh hello so 200 put that in here uh, 100 and then 500 all right we can go drop that into the hub get that done ba -ba -ba boom ba -ba 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 boom ba -ba -ba boom push the big old button hello and it's going Model to be storage. five minutes. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage Wee container That's and right. enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. That's right. What did we get? We got... We got the... Uh, what did we just complete? Shit. Snacks. It was complete tier four. What did we complete at tier two? Oh, we just completed this one, which was uh, power storage. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, we can we can we can hook that up in line and, and try to like you know have some power left over so we don't just because here's what's happening we're generating power no matter what if we're using it now granted we are using it but eventually I'm going to start turning things off turning things down when I don't need to worry about them but that power could be you know stored somewhere else for the time being and we can take it there um, so that's one of the other thing there conveyor lip mark three that'll use uh, steel or something who knows. Uh, conveyor belt mark three we're going to eventually start needing those this one eh, just a, just a bigger larger container 48 slots all it is is just it's two slides it's two together i don't think that i don't feel that that's really that's kind of pointless uh hyper tubes i'm not so keen on doing this just yet because i don't have any use for them right now and it has some things that i haven't made yet so which is steel and concrete which makes in 
cased industrial beam. There's going to be a point to that later on, because as we get into these things, um, into the MAMs, and doing on more of this, we're going to have it. Uh, Caterium, 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 I don't know. Uh, we are getting there. We've probably got enough to unlock and research all this and do more of that stuff. I think the zip lines I've heard are not all that they're cracked up to be. Um, well, I want to get in down this path of the sulfur because black powder and make the um, nobilisk. Uh, we have the stuff. We, we, we have the stuff to do all this. So I think what we're going to do is next time we're going like, to spend some more time on this as well as there's a lot of uh, containers I have on the map of places, you know, nearby. There's one up here near our all of our stuff that we're building. Um, there's a few of them around the map. We're going to go around because if we can get some more um, recipes, alternate recipes, that would be great. That would be awesome. And I know there's one over by the coal, coal town because it is, uh, it's up here somewhere. It requires power. So some of these require power, which we can just set up a, we'll, we'll take some, you know, some biofuel and take a, a burner and, and, and just set them up, provide the power, get it, what we need out of it, and we're done. And we're going to like that. Also, um, yonder, out yonder, I kind of like went, oh, when I was trucking the power back, I found over yonder there, oh, you can see the Katerian thing, um, where the power, like the lines crossed over from that whole thing up there, there's geysers, which I don't know what geysers are for yet, and I'll have to research them. But, uh, and that's one thing. And then there's nitrogen over yonder, over the back of that, down off the hill, I think there's the Spire Coast. There's a bunch of like barnacles and stuff all over the rocks, and a bunch of uh, other things that are bad that we got to deal with. Um, but yeah, we'll take care of that. So let's let's uh, let's call it a day for now. We've got all this happening. We're gonna I'm gonna go clean up and get ready. Uh, let's. We don't have enough. Like I said, well, you know what? Like, let, let's pause. We'll wait till we have enough stuff, and then we'll end it with us completing phase four or phase two of the uh, thing. So okay, skip ahead. Okay, uh, I turned on the other two assemblers to fill in the gap because I got tired of waiting. And we now have enough. Uh, let's take all these up to the... Oh, I'm going to run out of space, aren't I? Yep, I'm going to run out of space. Let's just... Boop, to doop to do And then we need automatic wiring. So, okay. That being said, now we've got 100 automatic wiring and we've got f 500 versatile framework. Let's run up to the space elevator and be done with phase two. And that's going to unlock whoo, 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 more fun stuff. All right. Oh, let's get up the hill. Let's get up there. All right. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's boom, 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 kick it in. Load it. What are we missing? We're missing another... Oh my god, are you kidding me? We're missing 50? I Did I not do that right? I counted wrong? Oh, for the love of god. It's not that I counted wrong. It's just that I didn't... Oh, I didn't grab them all out of the thing because I ran out of space in my inventory. Uh, <laughs> there's another 50. There's another 52 in there, plus what's still being built. I'm going to let those run out because why not? I'm going to need them for later anyways. All right, there we go. There it is. Load, seal, and send... Bye-bye. All right, phase three. Oh, more. 2,500 of those bastards. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to now see about sending up a... Um, a uh, setting up a factory to do that because they're going to be in more... Um, some of it's... Some of these things are just send it. Some of these things are you will need them for building other things. Uh, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Okay, the hub is back. That came back while we were waiting. Uh, we still have to get the hyper tubes, which I've got this. Let's just go ahead and put it, because what I have here is I. This was from finding it in um, other places around uh, box drop, you know, drop to uh, drop pods. So yeah, I had that, and we've got some pipes. We got the pipes, and let's uh, actually let's get this hyper tubes, just so we can get it. Um, we need hyper tubes. We need. Or, I'm sorry, we need the uh, steel pipes, we need copper sheeting, and we need uh, encased steel, uh, encased, uh, encased concrete, encased steel, whatever. Um, I have my copper factory. I have plenty of, and I start going around and adding more containers because 
I was running out of space. Um, Alright, let's get that. We need 300. We're good to go. Let's get back up there. Alright, let's drop those in. Send it off. Bye-bye. We in another 10 minutes. Hypertubes unlocked. We don't really care about hypertubes at the moment, but that gets us to tier 5, which is going to be... Yeah. Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through and quickly <laughs> And die. Build them today. <laughs> Note, fix it Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible A lot of harm will come from using that product. Uh, that also lets us, um, you know, now that we've got industrial manufacture, we've got alter alternative fluid to transport, which gets us into oil production. Liquid biofuel, ooh, uh, and packaging of things, and the gas masks, and then we can go take on those um, smelly things over there, and more inventory slots, and then oil processing, which is going to open up oil. Oh boy, yeah. So we can uh, we can start working now. We got motors. We got to figure out motors. We got to figure out plastic, um, rubber, and uh, how do you make rubber? How do you make rubber? Is it in the codex? We don't have it. We don't. Oh, we don't have it yet. Oh, we don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. Why don't we have it yet? Why don't we have it yet? Because we haven't unlocked phase three. Is that no oil processing? That unlocks. Oh, that unlocks rubber. So we need to do that. So we need to figure out motors next. Oh boy. So okay, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a quick we're gonna take a break from pulling all this stuff together because. I need to figure out some more factories to put up and where to put them up at because, uh, again, we're going to run into more power problems as I try to get that set up, plus where at and, and using what resources because we've been pretty much tapped out a lot of the resources we've had around here. Also, I want to get into the MAMs, do that, and then go look for drop pods. So next time, probably what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up going on a, on a scavenger hunt for drop pods for more alternate recipes to help out and, and, and reduce some of our... Um, power needs because like I said we took an entire you know piece of the constructor line out of, of making screws and you know that that's four megawatts right there and then you multiply that by three or four or eight whatever you're doing and then you know you've saved on some power there so I want to do the same thing like I said also want to work on the MAMS and then oh we need to yeah we were gonna it's just a cleanup day is what we're gonna be doing because I also want to start looking at the um, I also want to start looking at the the, the the store and turn on some of the turn in some of those tickets because it's getting to be hell of a pain in the ass to run back and forth um, and while hypertubes could accomplish that and be kill you um, we can unlock some vehicles because we've, we've got the truck now and we got also we can use the the sink coupons to uh, the fix the store to get uh, the little you know smart car or whatever the hell it is <laughs> so we'll do that all next time that'll be fun we'll talk to you then thanks for watching uh, keep uh, supporting us and we'll keep on playing We'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.